Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning a few new things about the rested bonus. Most people know it's good, but most people don't understand how good it really is. We're going to take some information off of the Valheim fandom here, because a lot of the other websites actually don't show complete information. I'll also test it and show you that this is true, it actually works. So keep watching the video to find that out. Here's the rested buff itself. It's half increased health regeneration, double the stamina regen, half increased experience regeneration, and double the magic regeneration. Okay, so the one people don't realize is the experience. So here's a character that has reset skills, right? We can see that all the skills are at zero. You'll notice the first time you use an item, it will go to level one. So now I hit the pickaxe once, right? And we open our skills and our pickaxe is now level one, but it has no experience. If I hit one more time, now we can look at the same menu and I have a level one pickaxe, but you can see that I have roughly 50% experience, about half the level. So that means one more hit and I should be level two. Boom, level two. So we can use this to track how much more experience we get with a rested bonus. Here we are at a new rock and I reset my skills. So you can see there's no more pickaxe here. We'll hit it for the first time. This will set pickaxes to one and add it to the skill list, right? And then with rested buff, one hit, look at that we have 75% of the level. So you can literally see how the rested bonus increases your experience rate by 50%. You and now you'll be able to see just how much stronger magic is when you're rested. This is my Eater bar. You see how slowly it's growing up? This is with the full Eater set. And this really determines your power as a mage because as you see here, one, two, three, four, five, you do a volley and then boom, you're back to not really being able to do much and waiting. But now that I'm rested, you can see that I can just run around a little bit. It still regenerates slower than stamina, but it's much faster than when you're not rested. This allows you to do a lot more damage because that purple bar is literally your damage. If you have no purple bar, you can't do any damage. The faster it regenerates, the more damage you do. Now, something even cooler about this whole resting and magic and stamina regeneration thing is there's certain items that allow you to instantly become resting. Okay, see how there's no roof above me, but if I sit in the hot tub, I'm resting and I'm wet. Normally that doesn't happen. So this is actually very useful. Watch what you can do with it. I'm gonna drain all of my mana into a volley. And then all I do is just sit in the hot tub. And then the moment I get that resting, look how fast my mana regenerates. The same thing happens with stamina. So you can use the hot tub to get an instant resting buff that maximizes all of your stat regeneration. The same thing works with stamina. You'll often find that you're bow fighting and you sort of get to a point where you're running out of stamina and you can't really hold your bow anymore, right? And then as soon as this happens, you just sit in the hot tub and then look how fast your stamina regenerates. Just in that sentence, boom, already full stamina and ready to go. And what's awesome about this is it also works when you're not even rested. See here, I'm using up all my stamina. I just sit in the hot tub and boom, look at that, full stamina. So for that bonus, you don't even need to be rested to just replenish your stamina that way. Now, don't get me wrong, you don't need the hot tub. I just used it because it's the easiest item because the hot tub is actually very special because normally when you are wet, you can't get the rested bonus. But the hot tub is different. When you sit in the hot tub, you can get rested. The hot tub allows you to get rested without a roof. So it can be in the middle of a rainstorm just like this and you get in the hot tub and you'll get a rested bonus, which is really unusual. Normally you have to be under a roof or in shelter. Now, you won't get the hot tub until you're able to get iron and some tar from the plains. 
but you don't need the hot tub because as I mentioned, normally you can just get a rested buff. All you need to do is just sit near a fire. And as long as you aren't wet, you'll get a rested bonus. As you see, I'm drying out and then boom, now I'm resting. And there we have our rested bonus. And it may just be a level one rested bonus, but that's eight minutes. And really, you don't need to worry so much about having a great rested bonus, a 25 minute rested bonus, because all you need to know is how to just keep reactivating your rested bonus. It's really easy to find the wood and the stone that you need to make a campfire. And the only problem is if it's raining, because as you see during the rain, well, the fire goes out. This one, ah, uh, there you go. The fire went out because it's raining. So now I'm wet and the fire's not even on. So even if I sit, I won't get a rested bonus. Eventually you'll find the right spot and the fire will just stay on. So I can work around this by making sort of a little patch just for myself where I can sit, where the smoke won't get me. And then as soon as I become dry, then boom, now I can rest. So there's always a way to get a new rested bonus. Even if it's only eight minutes, that is actually pretty good because you can just keep resetting it. Unfortunately, there's places in the game where it's eternally raining. So you'll always be wet if you're outside, such as the swamp. That being said, by far the easiest place to get a rested bonus in most cases is at the entrance to a dungeon because inside dungeons, you can build campfires and all dungeons are shelters because you're inside a building essentially. So all you have to do is just sit next to the fire and you'll actually get a higher level rested bonus that lasts even longer than the ones you get outside. In general, Valheim's gonna be a much more approachable and easier game for you if you make sure you're always rested. Every time you go into a dungeon, put a campfire there, refresh your rested buff, you're gonna need it. And that's it for this video, everybody. I hope you learned something new about rested bonus or were encouraged to get rested because if you find that you're dying more often than not, it might be because you're not being diligent enough about staying rested. The game gets significantly harder when you're not rested. If you want to support my work, then consider purchasing your own dedicated Valheim server from Zap Hosting. If you've got a group of friends who love to play Valheim, then it's a great way to enjoy a one to three month playthrough. Thanks for watching everybody, and comment below if there's something you'd like me to make a tutorial about. I love making these tutorials, it's really fun, and I expect to keep doing it for much time to come. See you in the next video. Bye!